Welcome to the Here's My Story channel. I'm Selena. One day, my mom said to me, Honey, there's something I need to talk to you about. Your dad and I have made a decision. We've been wasting away at our boring job for years. So from now on, we only want to do fun things. We're going to work for ourselves, but also have fun. This was a great idea. Of course, I supported them, but unfortunately, it didn't go the way they planned. They failed at everything they tried to do. For example, for a while, they worked as clowns at kids' birthdays. Normally, they're both really fun people, but according to my mom, no matter how hard they tried, they just couldn't make those children laugh. When they got a bad rap among mothers, they had to give up that gig. Another fun job they tried their hand in was doing magic tricks at schools. My dad learned a few magic tricks and prepared a little show. My mom was his assistant on stage, but my dad was so bad at doing the tricks, the kids booed him throughout the entire show. So that gig also failed. One morning, I woke up to my mom screaming. I ran to my parents' bedroom in a panic. My dad was holding a razor blade and laughing hysterically. My mom was staring at my dad about to burst into tears. I realized that she was missing an eyebrow. Apparently, he had shaved off one of her eyebrows while she was asleep. Mom, Dad, what's going on? Are you insane? What is this? I yelled. Still laughing, my dad pointed to the camera. I realized that he had been filming everything. That morning, I found out about my parents' new profession, being YouTubers. They started a YouTube channel called Prankster Husband. The idea was for my dad to pull pranks on my mom. His first prank was shaving off one of her eyebrows. It took two and a half months for her eyebrow to grow back. My parents' first prank video had 220,000 views. Finally, they found their dream job. Thanks to YouTube, they were both having fun and making money. I became accustomed to hearing my mother screaming every day. In one of the pranks, my dad sneaked up on my mom while she was doing her makeup. Then out of nowhere, he took out two fresh eggs and cracked them on her head. My mom's shriek shook the whole house. There was egg yolk all over her hair and clothes. When she realized it was a prank, look what you did! I just showered, she grumbled. My dad, on the other hand, laughed until his belly hurt. He was now spending all of his day preparing pranks. The pranks weren't fake. My mom was genuinely reacting to them because she didn't know what was coming. And the viewers loved it. They were very happy, but I couldn't say the same for myself. For me, life was unbearable. If I was with my mom while my dad was doing a prank, then I became the victim as well. I didn't mind a little prank once in a while, but my dad was usually carrying things too far. In our house, my dad usually prepares breakfast and my mom does dinner. One morning, my dad had made me eggs with sausage. My mom wasn't in the kitchen yet. I sat down at the table and <laughs> cut a piece of the sausage on my plate and started chewing. Words cannot express the pain I felt at that moment. The sausage was so hot, it was as if smoke was coming out of my ears. I started screaming in panic. I was putting whatever I could find into my mouth to stop the burn, but nothing helped. My face was red as a lobster. I was running around the kitchen. My dad started laughing out loud. Oh, Selena, I'm so sorry. I had prepared that sausage for your mom, but <laughs> gave it to you by mistake, he said. Then he took out the milk from the fridge and gave it to me. Thankfully, drinking milk helped the burn. Apparently, my dad put the world's hottest pepper inside that sausage for his new prank. Yep, you heard that right. The world's hottest pepper. I was naturally very angry with my dad. But when he said this was an accident and apologized many times, I let it go. Still, I wanted to politely warn my parents. I get it. You found your dream job. You're having a lot of fun, but please don't include me in your pranks, I said. That day, they both promised me. I believed them because they looked really genuine, but I would soon find out that it was a mistake. My parents' YouTube channel had reached 200,000 subscribers. That meant they were making enough money to pay for rent and bills. But they had an important issue. Innocent pranks like cracking eggs on a victim's head got less views. The viewers wanted my dad to do mean pranks like putting the world's hottest pepper into the sausage. The more the victim, that's my mom, suffered, the more fun the viewers had. My dad obeyed their demands and increased the meanness level on every prank from there on. One day, we went to visit my grandmother. On the way back, my mom was at the wheel. I was in the back seat. I was telling them about something that happened to me at school. 
Then my dad took out a paper bag. Then he started shaking it before he released what was inside. A dozen wasps. Suddenly the wasps took over the whole car. My mom and I began to panic. We were screaming and yelling. My dad was filming us while belting out big laughs. My mom was trying to shoo away the wasps with one hand and hold onto the wheel with the other. Something bad was bound to happen. She lost control of the car and went off the road. My dad was still thinking about the video he was shooting. He was saying, this is the best prank I've pulled so far. Suddenly, we hit a tree. Then everything went dark. I was hearing voices from afar, but I couldn't make out what they were talking about. It was as if I was down in the bottom of the ocean. The voices started coming closer. After a while, I could hear better. It was my dad's voice. Our daughter will be fine, honey. Please don't worry. Didn't you hear what the doctor said? She might come to at any moment. I tried to open my eyes, but I couldn't. I, I tried to speak, but I couldn't do that either. At that moment, I realized I was in a coma. I couldn't react at all. I could only hear them. My dad started talking again. Wow, our wasp prank video has over 1.5 million views. I knew it was going to get attention, but I didn't think it was going to be this popular. My mom said, honey, okay, the video got so many views, but don't you see what's going on with our daughter? I can't be happy about views when she's in this condition. My dad replied, don't worry, love. I'm sure Selena will be okay in less than an hour. At first, she'll be mad with us, but she'll understand when she sees how many views the video's getting. Plus, this wasn't intentional. It was an accident. Then he said, do you mind getting us something to drink from the hospital cafeteria? <laughs> I wouldn't say no to some coffee right now. Mm -hmm. I heard footsteps and understood that my mom had left the room. Then my dad started pushing my bed. What was happening? Where was he taking me? I was spiraling down, lost in these thoughts. The voices were going away. It was as if I was going back into the depths of the ocean. After a while, I completely lost consciousness. When I came to, my mom was crying. My dad was laughing. My dad said, how could you even believe that? I didn't think I could fool you so easily. My mom said, giggling, well, when I came back, Selena wasn't here and I was so scared. When you said Selena isn't doing so well, she went into surgery. I almost fainted. My dad sounded so proud. As soon as you left, I took Selena's bed into the empty room next door. I pushed the empty bed from that room to here. The only thing left to do was for me to look panicked. My mom took a deep breath. I keep forgetting what a good actor you are. <laughs> you got me again. Did you get my full reaction? I'm sure this prank will also get a million views, she continued. This time, I was able to open my eyes. I looked at my parents in disbelief. When my mom said, oh, Honey, are you okay? Oh, thank God you scared us. I couldn't stop myself. Mom, Dad, you should both be ashamed of yourselves. I heard everything. Dad, you're the one who put me in this condition. How can you keep doing pranks? I yelled. I got even angrier when I saw the uncaring look in my dad's eyes. Dad, have you lost your mind? You tell me that you love me all the time and I was in a coma because of you. And as if that weren't enough, you pulled another prank on my mom using me? Can't you see how awful this all is? I said. Selena, don't be dramatic. Have you lost your humor as a result of this accident? It was just a prank. You know me better than that, he replied angrily. My mom was on his side. Honey, I think your dad is right. You know he's not only doing this for fun, it's also our job. This is how we're able to pay for this hospital bill. You should thank him. I can't believe you, I screamed. Do you hear what you're saying? Leave, both of you. I'm disowning you. My dad laughed. You're disowning us? Shoot, I wish I was filming this. I'm sure this would get the same number of views as our prank videos. He was still making fun of me. I guess I'm not making myself clear. You're not my parents anymore. I've disowned you, I said, pointing to the door. Will you please leave? I don't want to see you anymore. After they left, I called my grandma. When she arrived, I told her what happened. She couldn't believe the things my parents had done. How can they put their only daughter's life in danger? I'm going to disown my son for doing this to you, she said. And she really meant it. She called my dad on his phone and disowned him. I was released from the hospital a few days later. Now I live with my grandma. I don't allow my parents to visit me. They keep calling and texting, but I don't answer. Even if they're saying they're sorry, I don't believe they mean it. Why? 
because they're still uploading prank videos on their YouTube channel. They're blinded by their ambition for money and fame. That's why they can't see how hurtful they've become. 